it's a windy desert day, but it's under 100, so that's good. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. It's all about spots today. I love everything about aging, but I don't like the spots. Those of you who are my age, you know, you got the spots too. They're on our hands. They're like, they're new spots on our legs. There's spots on our faces. Like, when you were young, did you have spots? Did you have spots, Al? One. One, where? On my thigh. You only had one? Yeah, one. Oh. Well, see, I'm Irish and I have freckles, so I have to decipher between what are freckles and what are spots. Well, my, my spot looked like a giant freckle. So you, you grew up only having one freckle. Right. It's just not fair. <laughs> Actually, I like the freckles that you have. It's part you of your. Say that. You no, know, it's true. It's part of your national heritage. <laughs> well, I have, um, as with all things, I've decided to make friends with my spots, and I've decided to make I decided to make friends with all the things that could be negatives. Otherwise, what are you going to do? You can't get rid of them. Oh, but you can. You can get rid of spots on your face through our brightening serum you can get spots get rid of spots on your hands through the brightening serum and through younger hands you haven't seen this for a while have you this incredible incredible hand cream that plumps up your hands and and uh, makes your spots appear to disappear you always have to be so careful with all the language you know what i'm saying and um, and then we've got our spot remover, which you've all been asking for. And so I'll be showing you what what it takes to if I pour some of our pomegranate balsamic on a white napkin, um, what it takes to get it out. So first we talk. So you know I had <laughs> that great experience a couple of summers ago with our spot remover. Was I with you. Uh, yes, you were actually. We were living together then. <laughs> it was a great experience a couple of summers ago. Yeah. You bet you we were living together then. And we went to the farmer's market, and it was the height of the fruit season, mm -hmm. and I bought all the berries they had. Yes, you, you and I, I, I brought them home. Yes. I put them in a big giant pot. I was going to make yes, you jam. Yes, you did. And I put it on a low heat, and I forgot about it. And in the morning, we came down. It had overflowed. I guess the sugar, you know, etc. And I looked at it and I went, oh, It had overflowed. Oh, and totally uh, forgot. It, it had dried on the stove oh, awful. around the, were those uh, the burners. Yes, that's what they're called. And it was like, it was like steel. Yes. Okay. And I took a scraper and it, I couldn't scrape it off. No. And it was awful. And so I thought, do, okay. Al? Okay, Suzanne Summer Spot Remover to the rescue. Ta -da, ta -da. I sprayed it on, and uh, the next morning, I lifted it off. Yeah, you did. It was incredible. Yeah, you took the sponge and kind of just went blip, yeah. blip, and yeah. it all just came right yeah. out. Cooked in jam that he left going all night. Yeah. It made me not be mad at him for leaving the jam going all night because... Before we went upstairs, I said, make sure you turn that jam off. I will. But you didn't, did you? No. <laughs> I'm not perfect. Well, maybe. You're kind of perfect. Yeah. You're kind of perfect. I think you're perfect. Okay. Anyway, um, you know, it's so safe. You could drink it. I don't recommend it. It tastes pretty crappy. But that's how safe it is. I... Well, you should mention the foundation is colloidal silver, and we actually do drink colloidal silver every morning. I know. Not not from our spot remover, but no, no, no. I use it for my stomach, but don't use that. But I want to see. There's something else in it. So we're getting a lot of sound problem things here. Oh, that's your department, Al. Yeah. Everybody having trouble hearing us? Everyone. Anybody? I have no sound. I can't hear you, says Kathy. Okay. So, uh, Kathleen from Gander, can you hear? Sound is great on someone's end. 
Oh, that's interesting. She listens to it on her end. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kathleen. I can't vouch for him being a good boy. He's a bad boy. Um, okay. Okay, Paulette loves the color that you're wearing. Oh, thank you. Yep. It's called Baby Blue, isn't it? What are you reading? Well, I just want to see what else is in the... Um, the uh, spot remover besides colloidal silver it's uh, it's plant based <laughs> say that one more time yeah okay right right and it's got soy corn tree oils vegetable fatty acids and water so I mean, it's good, it's good stuff. All I know is it works. And um, there's nothing worse than getting a spot on anything. Anything. I got a spot on here today, and I put a little bit like that, and it was gone. It's, um, I worry. I know. One of the, I love quotes, as you know. Uh, John Astaroff in the book, The Secret, one of my favorite quotes is, worry is a prayer for what you don't want. So I worry, though, about all the, the toxins in the air in our homes. Well, hello, are you coming over here? Hi. Oh, are we going to put this on me? Yeah. Okay. Apparently, they can hear me and they can't hear you really well. Oh. Well, let's so, fix that. Okay. kind of not attractive the way you put that wire Well, you have to take off your top if you want me to. <laughs> Here. You look especially darling today. Thank you. Okay. Now you should be able to hear Susan. Well, go, talk to, go talk to your friends and see if okay. they can. Blue fox to red leaf. <laughs> top of the morning to you. But that, you, even if you don't hear, you know. Grab your, your tequila. Tell me about your salty things. I'll tell you about my salty things. And uh, tell me what you're wearing. And then we're having our cocktail party. My salty things are, I've got some yummy guacamole. I've got some yummy organic baked corn chips. I've got also for the corn chips some habanero sauce. It's got quite a kick in it, which I like. And then my real salty things are little uh, pieces of Parmesan, uh, black olives, and uh, uh, cherry peppers, and cherry tomatoes, and then some really interesting looking little crackers that are like a heart. So that looks kind of yummy. I, love, I don't know, there's something about when you drink a tequila, you just want some salty things. Have you found that? Tell me what you're eating. I found that. You found that? Yeah. And so if they say what they're eating, to tell me, because they told me last time and you didn't tell me. You know, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's from what I'm getting here from uh, comments, yes. they can hear me fine. Is that right, ladies? And they're having trouble hearing you. Still. Yeah. hardest one for me to hear uh, you might go to a different place I can't wait till this whole coronavirus thing is over so Caroline can come here and be Caroline this is you're like Charlie's Angels off in a box somewhere <laughs> okay so Jill uh, Freelix is having green salsa with chips and Pinot Grigio uh, yeah yeah it helps to have some salty things with your glass of wine, doesn't it? I know. And um, Julie, are you there? Are you having your first tequila of your whole life? <laughs> so Jennifer Carpenter has said, just listen to your podcast on Lori Crete today. It was awesome. Thank you for being such an inspiring and giving person. Uh, I like talking to her. Yeah. She, uh, she's evidently pretty popular. Uh, I like talking to her. Well, so uh, we're doing a sound test here. Okay. Can you hear me okay? 
Hello. And I, can you hear me? Uh-huh, but I never have an intro. Okay. Can you hear me eating my... Cannot hear Suzanne very well, but she looks great. <laughs> so maybe I should give you... Maybe I should give you the mic that's working for me. What do you think? I don't know. Well, yeah, and this mic's got one of those little condoms on it, you know? That's the first time you've ever used a condom. <laughs> that's not so. That is not so. No. Whoops. Sorry. I saw a doctor today put a condom on his head. Oh, yeah. Condom head. Yeah, he said it's, it's more effective than a mask. <laughs> and he put it over his head, his head, and then through his nose he kept blowing air and it kept growing bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until he was like a huge condom head and then it blew up. <laughs> yeah, okay, so. Bring that over here and sit with me. Just a, okay, so you should be able to hear Suzanne better now. Can you? Let's hear it, you know. Okay, can you hear me, ladies and gentlemen? Those are the words that everyone uses several times a day when they're on their cell phone. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's frustrating. You know, we've made so many advances technologically, but... Clearly not all the way. So Penny Langford is having Casa Dragones. Oh. Blanco. Oh. Yeah. Good for you. That's great. That's what I'm having. You can hear Al, but you can't hear it. Well, I, I just connected my mic. Can you hear? still hear me pretty good? Are you talking to me? <laughs> Yeah, that's life, isn't it? Okay. Well, I guess I guess what we have to accept, and we're seeing it on television too, uh, with everybody doing all their interviews from home, and the sound is sometimes good on network, and sometimes it isn't, and we're just these are hard times. Okay, people we're are hearing people are hearing both of us really really well. Okay, great. Okay. okay. Great. So let me tell you what the deal is today. Okay. I don't mean to put this in front of your face, okay, but it's only momentary. I just dripped olive juice down my bosom. Really? Uh -huh. I'll be there to clean it up in a okay. minute. Okay. So it's a spot remover trio. The Suzanne spot remover made with colloidal silver, incredible. The brightening serum and younger hands. I'd like younger hands. The retail is $115. And sale is sixty fifty nine ninety nine. That's forty eight percent off. You have young hands. Yeah, but I got some spots. You got spots. You know what you want to do for that? You could do this spot remover. Okay. And you could use younger hands. Okay. Okay. And maybe as the show goes on, you could come over here, and I will. I will. Despot you, but not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Are you having a cocktail, Alan? I am. Here it is. So let's. Uh... Okay. Here's to health. After That's health, it it's all bookkeeping. Yep. That's all there is. is okay. Health. Yep. So Diana Rubio says, Alan, you're coming in loud and clear. Actually, I'm tuning in from Corpus Christi. Uh, Texas. Like Texas. We like Texans. Love, I love Texas. Cool attitude. The women are cool, the men are cool, attitude's cool, food's great. I could live in Texas. If this governor keeps raising our taxes here, we might move to Texas. We should have this conversation anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I always throw little surprises at Al. He's going, we should? Okay, so I've got, I've got some... Uh, some direction for you, okay. okay, from Eddie Tully or Eddie Tooley. Okay. I'm sure Suzanne would sell more product sitting around in a pair of shorts and a tank top. Oh. Oh. Actually, 
you'd sell even more product if you didn't have any shorts on. Yeah, but then I'd be behind the bar, Eddie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Eddie, thanks, thanks for that. Whoops. And I do sometimes wear tank tops, but I like my little um, kind of foo-foo tops, shoulders, things like that. But anyway, I think people buy the product because they like the product. Hold it, Paulette Prezu. She said, my birthday is the 22nd of May. I asked my husband to buy me some Casa Dragones tequila, but it can't be found in Canada. Are you kidding? Wow. What about that other um, tequila that you found in Canada? Oh, yeah. Invictus. But it's very, it's very expensive in Canada. It is? Yeah. I'll show it to you. Here it is. It's called, are you ready? Addictivo. I thought it was Invicto. Addictivo. <laughs> Addictivo. And it isn't expensive here in California, isn't that weird? Well, it's kind of pricey. I mean, I think it's around, I don't know, $70 a bottle. Well, that's a lot. That's a lot. But, but you, a lot. You, only, you don't, like, chug a lot of this stuff. No. And my friend Vanda King in Toronto is the one who suggested it. And she said that she pays, I think she said over $300. <gasps> and you pay 70 here? Yeah. What's, what's that about? It's called luxury tax. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Wow. Yep. Wow. They have to pay for their uh, health care. Wow. Is that why you left Canada, or did you just leave Canada? Because you knew you were going to meet me. No, I knew I was going to meet you, and I thought, you know, why am I hanging around here? <laughs> no, actually... I there was some energy in the universe. The reason I left Canada... Uh, was because it was in the uh, late 60s, like 67 or 68. Yeah. And I was kind of uh, done. I was kind of at the top of my game. I'd done everything. And um, I was looking for an opportunity to move to Los Angeles. And to become... To, you know, just to move to L.A., uh -huh. okay? And not to become anything. Um, I didn't have any expectations, and uh, one day I was waking. Did you waking... want to be a big star? Um, did I want to be a big star? No, I just, I when I started in this business on radio, mm -hmm. I couldn't believe they paid me for having so much fun, and I've I've felt that way through my entire career. You're paying me to have fun. Okay, it I'm with fun. you. I'm with it you. It is fun if you make it in this business. Yeah. No fun if you don't. In the years I was slogging around, Here's, that wasn't fun. So Eliza, Elisa Nichols, alcohol is very expensive in Canada. The universal health care. I was right. Mm. Thank you. Oh, is that? Was, oh, oh. So then the Chantal, Chantal Marandola says, I hate the price of alcohol in Canada. I want to go back to California. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, it is too bad. Taxes. Taxes. They're no fun. No. Yeah. Well, you know, here we are. We pay our taxes. We vote for people. We elect them to office. And then they tell us uh, what to do. Yeah. S stay home and shut up. Right. Okay. <laughs> Pardon me? You know, uh, Caroline, I'm sorry you're breaking up. Okay, bye. No. <laughs> no. Don't go anywhere. I need you. Anyway, um... Yeah, some days, yeah, I hear you perfectly, and then... It, are you in the same room that you're usually in? Yeah, I'm Huh. How weird. And we're in the same place we're usually in. Well, anyway, let's get the ball rolling here. Okay. I want to show you, when when you get this, um, hand me that bottle there, Al. Which one? The spot remover bottle. Uh, we're rethinking our packaging. And I'll tell you why. We... All, all, uh, all, all, 
products are start with concentrate and then they add water to them not all but a lot of and and then then it becomes this heavy bottle this bottle is so much heavier than this one when you get yours it's gonna it feels like we forgot to put anything in it and we've had trouble selling at retail because people pick it up and they go there's nothing in it but the reality is there's the concentrate in it and then you fill it up to the water line up here and then you get all this you know great uh, product and so when you get your bottle we wanted to send it to you without the water into it because to mail this is going to be very expensive. To mail this is going to be very inexpensive. This weighs like an ounce or two. This weighs maybe 10 or 12 ounces. So I just want you to know when you get this, it's going to feel like we, we didn't put the stuff in. You fill it with water up to here and then you get this heavy duty stuff. Now I want to show you something. Take, the, take this one here out. I want to show you. So I think, you know, for the edification of everyone who's with us right now, yes. this will be the first time Suzanne has ever done a demo with the spot remover. <laughs> Here is our, um, our infusion. Don't put too much in there. Or we'll be here till Friday. Pomegranate. Um, balsamic vinegar, okay? I'm just gonna pour. I have no fear. I have no fear. No, you don't. So I'm just gonna pour a little in a line here. Okay? All right, there you go. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Okay. It's always helpful when you do a demo. What if it doesn't come up? <laughs> Look, oh my gosh, coming up. Pomegranate, pomegranate stains. Pomegranate gets all over the place. I think you need more spot remover. No, it's almost gone. I'll put a little more, but I don't really need it. Look at that, that's phenomenal. Oh my gosh. What you're seeing is just because it's a wet mark. But all yeah, the pomegranate. Like, I just been having the case, and then see the house Yeah. Okay, that's just a wet mark. I think you got to spritz some more in there. All right, all right. I realize this is the first time you've ever done a demo, so you're forgiven. Okay. I know how to clean things. <laughs> to do about the fact that people were thinking they were buying an empty bottle. And so maybe we didn't plan that out correctly in the beginning and we're rethinking about doing it all in this version, but we haven't figured it out because it's the shipping and handling. I don't want to charge you a whole lot of money for ship shipping and handling. So that's our dilemma. But anyway, you just saw how well it works. And I will do this demo again for the edification of those who came in late. But we'll wait for them to come in late. So okay. that's that. Okay. 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 Now, come here. You want me? Yeah. I just wanted to let you know it's the all-purpose cleaner that we're out of. Oh. I'll help remember. They don't stop me. I'll have to stop. Remember, there's no issue with the stop. Remember, we're out of the all-purpose cleaner. Oh. Oh, I see. 
Oh, this is the spot of, you know what? Thank you for reminding me. I forgot we have two all-purpose cleaner and spot remover. This is our spot remover. You got spots, you get rid of your spots with this. You spill pomegranate juice, that's a spot. You spill any of the things that you go, beets. I, I love beets and beets are growing in my garden right now. I probably cook six or eight beets a, a week, but the, when I take the skins off after I candy them by steaming them, the, there's always juice that drips down. It always drips on something you don't want it to drip on. And this spot remover works amazing on my beet juice. So, so that is uh, great. Now, come here, Alan. Let me put some uh, younger hands on you. Okay. I'm going to do two things here. Normally, I just use the spot remover, I mean, brightening serum on my face. I've got, because I sit in the passenger seat, he usually does the driving, so the sun comes in here and I get a spot here. I have a few spots here. Put your hands, put them up here. Uh, what are you, 83 or something? <laughs> okay. See, two days ago we did your feet. Yeah. And Tony Holt was watching and she thought it was really funny that I was doing your feet. Right, Tony, you're out there right now. Yeah. Okay, put this on. This is supposed to be on your face, but you know, wherever you have spots on your body and you want to brighten them up and um, like diminish them, give the appearance of them disappearing. So you can put this anywhere you have spots. Anywhere you have spots. Anywhere. Well, you're just going to go bad now. No, I can I'm not. tell. No, I can tell. No, I, just, I can tell uh, you're going to be bad, Al. Now no. he's like so bad. I just, I, I, I just want to be clear. Do you women like empathize with me for living with bad Al? I live with bad Al. He's so fun. <laughs> so fun to live with bad Al. Now, and that's not all. Now, this is not um, how you have to do it. You can just use one or the other. But this. Look at your beautiful. His mother so wanted him to be a classical pianist, as I told you the other day. A classical what? Not, don't go back. You Where? see, he goes back. No, Pian I was just, I, pianist. I couldn't hear. Pianist. The mic. He's so bad. So bad. My mother would be, if she were still alive, she'd be so shocked at how bad you were. No, she would. No, she would. My mother loved how you loved she'd me. She'd be laughing. She loved how you loved me. And your mother loved how you yeah. loved me. What you're going to find with repeated use yeah. is that, that, you know, like you have the skin that can, you can kind of pinch. Yeah. After a while, this is going to plump it up, and I'll tell you why. I'm going to read to you what's in there. That does it. Younger hands. It's got um, bio. i got to put my glasses on. I'm starting to lose my Whoops. reading ability without glasses, but no problem. She looks like a live hair reel now, right? Yeah. Biocontrolled lipofilling. Abyssinian seed oil. We use that in the activating serum. But I have abyssinian seed oil in my hair. What do you have in your hair? Abyssinian seed oil and meadow foam seed oil in my hair. That's the true Brazilian. He's going to Are you going to go sniff it again? No. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is so. Okay. Crest sprout extract which helps, that's the one, helps reduce foreign age spots. Did you, would you say you have foreign age spots? No, they're just spots. Okay. That's why I got mixed up. I was thinking this was the um, all-purpose cleanser, which has the colloidal silver. The spot remover doesn't have the colloidal silver. So I wouldn't drink it. So maybe, Madonna maybe, Lily and Madonna- Maybe you should spray some of this on my hand. No. Madonna Lily is also in, in here, which helps brighten the appearance of skin. So those are all things, you know what I love about our product? It all comes from nature. It's organic. It's, it's organic, it's all good for you. There's nothing that you know you shouldn't be using it, but you are anyway, because it does the job. This is like, it's, this is peace of mind stuff. So for removing spots on upholstery, on ties, you know, when you go out with your man and they miss and the grease gets down on the tie? 
when you get home, spray this on it. No. Or, or sometimes you cook in the kitchen and you don't wear an apron. Not always. You wear an apron a lot, but when you don't, you get it all over your t-shirts. And then I get out at night with this like a good little wife. And I do that. You know, and I, then when you get spots on your face, I get them more than you because I'm Irish. And these, these are our spot removers. Yeah, what? I don't what? think you did a very good job of the demo. Let's see you do it, Al. Al, do the demo. <laughs> Here, and I'm going to serve it to you on a silver tray. Okay, so here's what I'm going to tell you. Will yeah. you do it? Yeah. Take half of this paper, not the whole thing, half the thing. Okay. Just spray it. She's saying, just spray, put your stain on there, and then just try to get rid of half of the stain, not the whole stain. Right. Okay, so I'll put it on. No, I'll put it on. Okay, you do the demo. Yeah, I'll, I'll drink tequila. I'll drink tequila. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is what? Is this the pomegranate or the cherry? No, this is our pomegranate infusio, okay. aged, 12 year aged balsamic. Okay. For the so, shame, okay. I'll put a little bit on here like that. Actually, you know, Michael brought this up. I don't think this is the balsamic, I think this is pomegranate juice. Yeah, it's juice, isn't it? That's not um, balsamic. What is it? <coughs> it's vinegar. <coughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Well, save some for the demo. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be doing this thing. Just go through the middle. Just go into the middle. Okay. Well, just I'll one half. Down. Hold it. I'm doing the demo. I know, but but you don't want them to think that you have to use that much. Well, it's not that much. Okay. It's a little spritzer. Oh, that, that was a lot. this and put it here, because otherwise we'll be in trouble. Okay. Look, without doing anything. Look. Huh? <laughs> you sound like a guy who used to do commercials. Okay. But now... Now, do you know why he was the spokesperson for the Alpha Beta? chain of grocery stores for years. And Acme. Oh. Uh, you know what? You're much better than me. You're damn right I am. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Okay. And you don't need this anymore, huh? Are you going to choke now? <laughs> oh, that's pretty great. That's pretty great. Spot remover. Spot remover. Pardon? Show the deal. Okay. Now I know it. People have been writing it, asking for it. Because it is so good. Okay. Here's the deal today. Whoops. Okay. It's windy. Yeah, it's, it's the spot remover so trio. The spot remover, which I just demonstrated beautifully. The brightening you serum. And younger hands. Retail value $115. And today it's $59.99. 48% off at SuzanneSummers.com. Great. You know, you were so good at that demo. That's probably why in the early days, I never got any commercials. I mean, I, I got a few, but I never um, auditioned well. I, did, I, I wasn't good at them. Yeah, I know. You were. I was, yeah. I would go on auditions with you and you'd get the job and I wouldn't. Yeah, it's true. But I got sitcoms. Yeah, I didn't get a sitcom. <laughs> so cry me a river. Okay. Okay, so. Younger hands, brightening, brightening serum for spots on the face, and spot remover for spots on anything that gets spots on it. And uh, forget what I said about colloidal silver because I thought that this was the all-purpose cleaner, which we will come back with. I promise. And that one you could actually drink, but I wouldn't recommend it. No. This one don't drink. 
It's going to taste like crap, really. Really. It's safe to drink. It is safe to drink. Yeah, you could. You, yeah, it is safe to drink. I think that's an incredible thing that you can say about a product because most of the things under your kitchen sink and under your bathroom sink are not safe to drink. And um, I was looking tonight for some hairspray and I didn't have any of ours. And I went under the sink and there was an old can of hairspray that I haven't used in years and I sprayed it on and I couldn't believe the toxic fumes. I threw it out into the garbage. I couldn't believe it. And how many, what, what? Kim Jarvis yeah. Wilder says relative to when I held up uh -huh. after I finished oh, doing the demo, what? she said, where is it? Hang on. What happened here? Looks like, <laughs> looks like skid marks in underwear. <laughs> <laughs> You're That's right. What's great about social media. These are things you can't say on television. You're right. You know, television is over because, um, we're so used to the freedom of social media. There's no standards and practices other than the spies that are reading our stuff. Um, I don't think television as we knew it will ever return. Do you think so, Al? Well, I think, uh, you know, television is still pretty potent, but they have to be losing viewers because if there are th a thousand new channels for yeah. people to watch. Right. You know, it's like going to a, to, a, to a live show when you can sit at home and, you know, pay a couple of bucks and watch, you know, any show you want. Yeah, I know. I know. So I don't, I don't, I think, you know, television in 10 years from now, I don't know where it's going to be. But it's well, not, it's television a... television right now, as compared to when I was on television regularly, is so different. When I was on, there were three choices, ABC, NBC, CBS. And, um, you know, when you garnered the audience, we got somebody talking here. When you garnered, garnered the audience, you had, you know, a third to um, half of the population of America watching. Now, it's so diffused. And the young people don't watch television. My grandchildren don't watch television. They get it all off their... I don't even think they get it off their laptops. Are they watching it on their laptops, Caroline? Yeah. I'm asking Caroline because you don't have young children. Well. So, so what? I'm just enjoying, I'm kind of hungry tonight and you're watching me eat tonight. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, turn the music off. Yeah. Because it seems to be getting, in the, getting in the way. Right. Okay. Right. And then after you eat, Suzanne, can you tell us about that amazing brightening serum for the face? That's really good at doing helping to finish spots on the face. Well, as I was telling you, I'm Irish, so I'm predisposed to spots. To and what? I, to spots. Spots. And I'm 73. 73? Yeah, which also makes me even more disposed to spots. I don't know what the aging process, what it is, although, oh, you all want to know this. Dr. Wright, I, I called him one day, Dr. Wright is always right, and I said, you know, what are supplements you could take for spots? And he said, bilberry and hawthorn. So that's, I'm just passing that on. But the um, spots that I get on my face, they used to make a spot remover. Uh, uh, I know when we were in China, Yusai Khan was telling me about her brightening serum. It was uh, targeted. You just put it right on the spots. But it was like bleach. And so then, then it would bleach the spot, but then it would leave a, a white spot. So now you didn't have dark spots, you had white spots. This, you take this and you put, you pump a few pumps into your hand and um, you put it all over your face. I can't do it right now because of my makeup. I'll put it on my chest though. And it just, 
It's good for the spots on your chest. It's good for the spots on your hands. Good for the spots on your face. So we're so lucky to have incredible products like this. Do you want to know what's in it? I'll tell you what's in it. Um, white tea. White tea is great because it's rich in antioxidants and it protects against the um, uh, aging ravages of free radicals. Vitamin C, which is an antioxidant, which helps combat aging effects from sun exposure. And daisy flower extract, which is concentrated extract, uh, an exciting brightening agent. So daisy flower extract, which is from Japan, white tea, and vitamin C. What I like about when I read you ingredients, it's all everything that comes from nature and things that you've heard of before. So everything tonight is from nature. And um, I honestly feel that our line is incredibly exciting because um, I open up magazines and do this little experiment. You will not see organic product in magazines. The reason is because if they start touting the benefits of organic, no one will ever buy the chemical stuff again. And so I can't get my product into magazines. So that's why I sell it online like this, so that I'm not competing with anybody and anybody else's product. I'm just telling you, they're putting terrible stuff in our skincare, terrible stuff in uh, our cleaning products, terrible stuff in our food, and it's having a deleterious effect on everybody. Uh, uh, you look at the stats of disease and it's, it's pretty frightening. And so I'm not saying that using my product can protect you from any of those frightening diseases, but it sure can go a long way in prevention. And I remember, I remember years ago, I went to the Vanity Fair Oscar party. I've been lucky to have been invited uh, numerous times. Have you noticed they don't invite you anymore? Yeah, oh, because Graydon Carter left. He, he was who was inviting us. Anyway, uh, I'm standing there and there's this beautiful girl. I mean, Scarlett Johansson-y kind of beautiful girl. And she kept staying, staring over at me nervously and then looking away and then staring at me nervously and then looking away. And then finally she got up the nerve to walk over to me if I had realized it was going to be so hard for her, I would have gone over to her myself. And she said, I just want to say that I hope when I'm your age that I look like you. And I thanked her and then I said, start now. The earlier you start, the better. The um, aging is about worn out parts and the cumulat cumulative effects of the toxicity and the environmental assault. And so anytime you start pulling back on the environmental assault by using a spot remover that's organic, by using a hand cream that's organic, and we have on all of our products, this insignia, I'll tell you again, I've told you so many times, it's um, certified toxic free insignia. Can you show them that insignia? It's very hard to see means it's grown organically, extracted organically, and nothing upwind or downwind of the product can be toxic to contaminate it. Those are pretty stringent guidelines, and we pass, and we got um, uh, such high marks for all of our cosmetics. But our cosmetics make the other people's cosmetics look bad, so they don't like us, because we don't have chemicals, and they do, and... Um, I can't wait till the paradigm changes. Somewhere down the line, maybe it's going to take 20 years, the, the bulk of the ads in magazines are going to be organic, and the rare sighting will be for co cosmetics that have chemicals in them. Because 20 years from now, we're going to think, what were we thinking? I'm already thinking, like, what, what, are, what are we thinking about putting poison on and in our food? I mean, spraying our food with pesticides it does not make any sense at all and you see the disease on the rise I mean you don't even have to to do bad things re relative to your health in terms of um, 
of using um, products that are chemicalized. You don't have to even do that. There's, we're under the greatest environmental assault. It may, that blade may you know, strike you. you don't, we don't know. But anything you can do to prevent, and my products are preventative. And preventative is a hard sell because the people, what are you looking at? Well, I want to make sure your microphone is positioned properly. It is. Okay. It's perfect. Just like in a TV studio, what? Are you getting complaints? Well, it's, I'm getting comments. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm so sorry. And at the same We're going time, to have this problem worked out. At the same time, I can look down at your shirt. There is being bad. Yeah. Being bad. Oh, there's a siren. Oh, in um, Palm Springs, we hear ambulance sirens a lot, and we really hear them now because we have no traffic. Anyway, it's the every. I read about this in my book, A New Way to Age. Every choice we make, good or bad, has a direct effect upon our outcome. By outcome I mean how are you gonna end up? What's your end point? Is your end point um, the present paradigm, which is pretty terrible to entertain. No wonder none of us want to age. Uh, it's decrepit, frail. It's got one of the one of the three big diseases, heart disease, Alzheimer's, cancer, or all three. And the eventual end stop in the nursing home. No wonder nobody wants to age, but what if you could make the correct choices so that that doesn't have to be your outcome. And that's what I'm trying to help you with. I can't guarantee it. I absolutely can't. Wish I could. I wish I could guarantee it for myself. But I take every choice that I make seriously. And I wish I had started earlier. I didn't know till I was 50. I had to get cancer to start making changes. And I made, when, once I got cancer at age 50, I changed the way I ate, I changed the way I slept. I changed the hours that I slept, I changed my thinking, I changed my thoughts, I changed my spirituality. I definitely changed food. I stopped taking over-the-counter drugs. I changed everything. Uh, I just hope you didn't do too much damage in the first 50 years. You, you have the power within you right now to make the right choices. And um, I know this is spot remover. And I know this is brightening serum. And I know this is hand lotion called Younger Hands. But in all those three things, there's not a single chemical in any of them. Doesn't it make sense that you're going to have a better outcome if you use products like this? And that's my whole message. That's my whole brand. That's what my books are about. That's what my lectures are about. Everything that I do is to help you to not have that terrible present um, a paradigm of aging, but to have an incredible, an incredible outcome, that your outcome, your end point is incredible, that one day when you're 110 or 120 years old, you just die in your sleep, that you never had to be sick. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Because right now, everybody pretty much ex expects that they're going to end up sick. I'm saying you don't have to, but it's about the choices you make. So I know, I've just got spot remover, and I've got brightening serum and hand lotion called Younger Hands, but these are three choices that you'll make today that will keep the toxic burden, your, your, your toxic load in your body down to a minimum. In the back of my book, A New Way to Age, I have all the testing in there that Life Extension has provided for me to you at a great, great price. You can, it's all affordable, that's why I put them all in there. You want to know what your what your your toxic burden is and your chemical level in your body is? Have a blood test. I do, it's in the back of the book uh, for trichothecenes. Trichothecenes is your chemical level, your toxic burden. It will tell you just the ratio of good to bad in your body. You want to know that. If it's bad, then you can start cleaning out and detoxing. There's lots of ways to detox, and that's what I talk about in the book. So I'm just... I already had cancer once. I don't want to have it again. Um, and once you've heard those words, and all of you who've heard those words, and I've, I've had cancer more than once, which I've told you. I've actually had cancer seven times. I had a traumatic childhood. I've written about that, and I think that has something to do with it. 
in uh, stress, you know, promotes disease. But ever since I wised up, I've changed my life and I feel so much better and I'm happier, I sleep better, I, I digest better, everything is better. So that's my little spiel. Well, maybe it has something to do with being married to me. It has everything to do with being married to me. <laughs> you are my reason. I don't want to go on for another 30, 40 years. Thank you. I'm 73. How old will I be in 40 years? Uh, you will be, uh, let's see, uh, uh, you'll be 113. I can see that. Yeah. Ray Kurzweil, the famed futurist, who I interviewed in my book, Bombshell, um, he said he wants to live indefinitely. I went, oh, I don't know if I want to live indefinitely. And he said, well, how old do you see yourself living, Suzanne? And I said, I honestly, with the way I take care of myself, I can wrap my arms around 100, 110. He said, okay, let's go to your 110th birthday. He said, uh, on your 110th birthday, he said, you've got a good working brain, you've got strong bones. Do you want that to be your last day? And I went, well, no, not really. And so what he was saying was, pay attention to the choices that you make starting today. If you have one takeaway from this show today, I'm a little more serious today than I normally am, because I only had a half of a tequila. Can you put some more ice in here, Al? Certainly. Um, is uh, you're in control of your destiny, your end point, your health, uh, to a point in today's world, because there's so much crap. I'm looking at chemtrails in the air right now. There's just so much crap in the air and in the environment. But uh, knowing that that's there, then the choices you make relative to the products you use is even more important. So, that's it. Okay. Okay. Well, ready here, Al? Certainly. Any more questions from the girls and the, book and the guys? Um, <clears throat> there was one great question. Oh, Tony Verducci wants to know what's tonight's promo code. Oh. Uh, let's see. Verducci is not. Pardon me? Hold it up. Okay. No code. No. There's no code. Spot remover trio. That's all you have to know. Spot remover, brightening serum, younger hands, SuzanneSummers.com, 48% off. Great. Great. So, I'm sorry there were so many microphone problems tonight, and this is Alan's area, so you're gonna you're gonna fix all that, aren't you, Alan? I am. Okay. So I promise that will get cleared up. I think we're near the end of the show, right, Caroline? We are. Yeah. So. You know what's weird? What? Uh, this woman, Nancy Barney, said I sound great, but you are barely. And I only have your mic hooked up, the one that's right up pinned to your shirt. How's that for weird? And before, they were hearing me great. Is it plugged in? Yeah. No, not, not everyone ever everyone's great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what time is it? It's time to say goodbye. Yeah, it feels, it feels like it. And I'm sorry if we frustrated you tonight. We, that was not the intention. We put 100% into every show. And sometimes the sound just like bites us in the butt. And it has a lot to do with the fact that Caroline is in Los Angeles. We're here in Palm Springs. And her Wi-Fi is spotty. Uh, and... It's not compatible with our Wi-Fi here. We're going to get that fixed, I promise. You know, if you've been drinking more, it would have been fun. I know. Yeah. I know. And if you had behaved more... You don't mean that. No. I like that you don't behave anymore. I know. Well, thank you all. And we will see you Wednesday, right, Caroline? Yeah, Wednesday. What time, Caroline? Okay, 1 o'clock Pacific you, time. 1 o'clock California time. And then Friday at 5 o'clock. Yeah, five, Friday 5 o'clock. The big, the 
by that all our microphone problems will be fixed and we won't have to go through the frustration. But I love talking to you. I love um, proselytizing about choices, but I actually enjoy talking to you about that because I feel so strongly. Otherwise, I wouldn't sit up in my office up there and write these books all the time. It mean, means a lot to me that you tune in and you care. It means a lot to all of us that you love our products. And uh, we'll see you on Wednesday. Okay. Bye, everybody. I'm also the camera guy, so I have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. Three, two. <laughs>